Good afternoon, dear students. Good afternoon, teacher. Thank you, sit. Okay. How are you? How is your mood today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. What can you say about today's weather? That's why, uh, come, all of you come here, we will make a circle and we will wish good wishes to each other, okay? Okay, okay. Come here and make a circle, okay? And now, all of you, uh, we will say good wishes, uh, good words to each other. I will begin. Uh, for today's lesson, I wish you uh, good mood. And I wish you your day will be good. You? Uh, I wish you success. Success. Uh, mm -hmm. I wish you good marks. Good. Again, okay. good, good marks. marks. Yeah. I wish you also best. Also best. I wish you good marks in this lesson. Uh, mm -hmm. I wish you be active in this. Okay, class. good for you. Be active. Uh -huh. your, I wish you uh, best health. I wish you best health. Uh -huh. I wish you wonderful life. I okay. wish you success for today's lesson. Success for today's lesson. Uh, I wish you also uh, health. Oh, thank you. Oh, I wish you good luck. I wish you future uh, job. For our future for job. Our yeah. future. And for today's lesson? Uh, success. Success, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that we all wish each other good, good moves. Good. Yes. Yes. And I hope that you see in our today's lesson. Your mood will be great. Okay, good for you. Before beginning our lesson, now I want to begin our lesson using the raindrop method. Yeah? Here is, we can see, as uh, we say that our today's weather is very changeable. We will begin our lesson with raindrops, yeah? Because we have a lot of rains. Now that you have a task, you should go to the blackboard and choose one raindrop. Okay? Mm -hmm. Come to the blackboard. You can come in turn. In turn. Come here. Mm -hmm. Translate. Give translation of this word. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I first choose all of you. You can just take it. Okay? Take it. Be with it. Okay, good for you. All of you, uh, in your hands, you have drops, yeah? Uh -huh. And you should read your words and give translation of these words. Begin. Oh, that's this. Assess. Uh, how, do you, how do you explain the word assess? Translation. How do you translate it into Kazakh? Um, Kazakh. It is a noun, yeah? Mm -hmm. Objectives, it's uh, um, synonym, of, synonym of aim. aim. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You activity, it is a uh -huh. mm -hmm. You, Dinara? Feedback, book, your violas. Long term, it is not near the Short term is Brainstorming is Mirashabu. This? What is it? Mirashabu. Differentiation. Differentiation. This? Drops will be one group, blue drops will be okay. second group. Okay. And uh, take your seats. Blue, 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 blue drops, you will yeah. sit here, and white drops, you will take your place in a 
second paper. And yes. Then look at the blackboard. Here. Now I want to, uh, to use the method brainstorming. Yeah, you know this. Yes. This is the method which we use in our lesson. Yeah. And uh, here I have two clothes. Yeah. Yes. We connect our lesson again with weather. I have two clothes, and in these clothes I have two adjectives. Mm -hmm. What kind of adjectives I have? Short and long. Short and long. Short and long. long. Can we connect? These two adjectives with our lesson. Look at that. Uh, uh, we connect uh, this what? word uh, with our lesson uh, because uh, last week we talked about uh, short term and long term long -term plans. 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 Yeah. Short term plans and why is our new series short term plans and long term plans? Long -term plans. Our. We will talk about short term plans and long term plans. Yeah? yeah, I can good for you. Now, in order to, uh, as a previous lesson, we talked about long term plans and short term plans. Yeah? What are they? How we use, how we make our short term plans. Now, in order to review, revise all information, now you will ask questions to each other, to groups. You should prepare questions to another group in order to get more information. We can use the method catch the question. Yeah, so begin. Can I ask? Well, begin. Your question. What, what can you say about short term plan? Okay, so what can you say about short term plan? Uh, short term plan is teachers daily plan. Daily plan. Yes. For you, your question. Can I group? When we can use warm up activities? Can I? Okay. Uh, we can we can use warm up activity uh, at the beginning of the lesson and after the greeting. After greeting, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. And in other parts. And it use. depends on teacher's plan. How do we and the teachers, teachers mm -hmm. activities? Then activities which teachers prepare. Yes. yes. I get it for you. That's your question, Yana. What is the long uh, term plan? What's the long term plan? Uh, Long term plan, uh, in general, uh, uh, plan with, uh, with planning, horizon of uh, years, college uh -huh. range plan. It's a long, long term plan. It is a teacher's individual plan which, which is made for a year. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do we have a mid term plan? Yes, we have a mid term How we uh, use mid term plan and uh, the period of using mid term plans? Can you say it? For each term we make term plans. Mid term. Then we use mid term plans from from the method term. From January June. Okay, good for you. Next question. Okay, next question. Uh, what can you say about the formative assessment? Mm -hmm. Formative assessment, the okay, good way. Formative assessment uh, including diagnostic, uh, diagnostic testing okay. a rank of formal and uh, informal assessment. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. what is the differentiation? Differentiation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the differentiation? Okay. Formative assessment. Did I Mm -hmm. Differentiation. It is a uh, in the in in a class we've got uh, strong, strong and unstrong, weak, weak people. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Differentiation we use uh, to these students. To these students. Yes. 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 For best yes. and best yes. weak yes. tasks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And we have more questions or not? Okay. Uh, what can you say about feedback? Uh -huh. Feedback. Mm -hmm. Feedback. It is a reaction to a uh, to a mm -hmm. product. It is a reaction to a product. Yes, it's a reaction. Yeah. Reaction. How can you explain act and react? Uh, a, a reaction. Act is actually by Anas. Uh -huh. 
Дійсно, я Yes, 
Uh, about the about the the plan, we can say the theme of the lesson, yeah, okay. speaking, listening, it is? Skills. 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 skills, and reading, writing skills, mm -hmm. and somatic assessment, using of English, you can have some okay. writing. Good point. And when number of lessons, number, lessons. number. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. assessment. Thank you, good for you. Now, that from each group, we need speaker. Mm -hmm. Now, you will change your places. Change your places. Okay. Then this group you will come here, and this group you will come here. Mm -hmm. Now you should connect all the words and give us information about your problem. You should use you should use you should use these words and give. Information about long term plan. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just at first discuss, and after you will give information about long term plan. You have two minutes left. I hope that it's not enough for you. Yes. Okay. You will just give information. You should connect all the words you have and give information. You can give just a main idea. Yes, you have one minute. Yes. 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 Lesson plan. 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 L
should include, at the very least, these 12 different components. The first necessary component is the title. When naming your lesson plans, begin with the course subject, grade level, and your name. The title should be clearly presented somewhere at the top of the lesson plan. It should be easy for administrators to recognize whose lesson plan it is. Next up, the date, which is more important than you actually think. Teachers will not argue that one of the most common mistakes are using old lesson plans and forgetting to change the date. It happens to me all the time. When teachers get caught using older dates, it indicates they are not actually planning their lesson. The third component is the lesson objective. Each lesson should have a learning goal. The goal should be characterized as SMART which means it's specific, measurable, achievable, results focused, and time bound. These learning goals should be posted somewhere in the class for both students and administrators to view. The next component is the standards, which is quite an important component. Lesson plans must be tied to at least one state standard. Teaching to the state standards is important because your students will eventually take standardized tests. And if you haven't covered your standards, you eventually set your students up for failure. 
Moving on to the fifth component, which is the actual plan for the lesson. Each lesson should have a beginning, a middle, and an ending. You should also write in the sequence of activities and events in your lesson. For example, maybe your plan begins with an anticipatory set, then a lecture, then an activity, and finishes up with an assessment. The sixth component of lesson planning is the assessment. Remember, each lesson objective with its aligned standard must be assessed for student comprehension and understanding. Now, when I say assessment, that can mean something as simple as a quick formative assessment, such as an exit ticket, or perhaps a unit assessment. The next component has been surrounded by some debate lately, homework. Let me be the first to say that homework is absolutely necessary. Add specific pages and problems for homework assignments. You know, kids spending time doing their homework isn't a bad thing. You should be assigning homework. The next part of lesson planning is to add some cross-curriculum standards. English language arts and other subject standards should be included when touched upon in a lesson. Especially look to incorporate English language arts. Think about a physics lesson on quantum mechanics and Albert Einstein. That lesson could have both history and science standards. The next component is differentiation, which great teachers actually do. You can include differentiation of instruction through content, process, and product. Also, differentiate for students with disabilities and BLL students as well. It should be noted that differentiation of instruction takes a lot of time and effort as well as planning. The tenth component is technology. Add technology skills and practices into your lesson plan if possible. Now, not all lessons you give will incorporate technology. Nevertheless, as teachers, we must prepare students for the technological world. The next component should be included is the written component. Remember, writing is a transferable skill that students need for most disciplines and need as career professionals. Even if you're teaching math, have your students write out steps to solving a problem. Place open-ended questions in your assessments. And now, we finally made it to the last component, career skills and career-ready practices. All teachers should try to instill career-ready practices that will prepare their students for careers later on in life. Education is ultimately the responsibility for preparing students for life outside of school. Okay, we'll stop our video. Could you catch something from our video? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check. Okay. Uh, what can you catch? Uh, beginning, middle. Uh, okay. Middle. Our lesson plan has beginning, middle, and ending. Okay. With you. Just a minute. Just a minute. Can I? Yeah. Uh, I I catch uh, lesson components. Uh, lesson yes. components. Yeah. There are right title, date, objective, standards, plan, assessment, homework, cross curriculum, the cross curriculum, curriculum, differentiation, differentiation, uh, technology, writing, career skills, career skills. Yeah. Yes. That these things we should keep in our lesson yes. plan. Yeah. In order to make an effective, a good lesson plan. Yes. In order to make our lesson interesting, we should components. use these components. Okay. Title, so, title, mm -hmm. title. Uh, in the title we should uh, write grade, level of the class, and uh, uh, name, teacher's okay. name. Beginning of our lesson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Title. Next, Jana. This is not a comprehensive uh, and uh, assessment. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, formative. Formative and uh, what kind of uh, assessment do you know? Okay, and now, next question. What facts you couldn't catch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I couldn't catch uh, cross curriculum and technology and career skills? Career skills, okay. Uh, what can you say about the technology? Yes. Technology. Mm -hmm. What's it? Yeah, they're all things which we use 
during all the sentences, laptops, empty words, what else? I mean, I Presentation. 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 Our presentations, our presentations, uh -huh. technology, and using our lesson, we should nowadays we need to use technology to do our lesson. Yeah. And um, Diara, can you explain uh, your what you have? Uh, the shahadat. What does curriculum mean? Curriculum. Uh, uh, curriculum is a plan to. Uh, long, long term plan, yes. Yeah. In the long term. We in, the, in the long, long term plan, we use the word curriculum. It is a, it is a plan of uh, lessons. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Good for you. Good job. It's a standard, which we take from standard. Okay. And this group, what you couldn't catch? What text you could have okay? Differentiation. Differentiation, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. And career skills. Career skills, okay. You. Yeah. Can you explain what does differentiation mean? Uh, differentiation, uh, it is uh, like activity. Like activity, okay. Uh, and uh, we, we use differentiation. Uh, we use uh, in. In a lot of plan or in a chapter plan? Uh, in chapter plan. Uh, uh, for. Uh, strong students and, and for we 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 yeah, yeah. 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 for strong learners and for we activities learners. will be different. Okay, that is the tasks will be different. different. Yeah, that will be in different levels. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good for you. Uh, other part we will discuss at the end of our lesson. Okay. Now, the next station is. Reading station, yeah? In the reading station, we move to the reading station. In the reading station, we will have reading material. You should look through, look through this material and you should identify the main ideas which we can use for organizing our lesson plan. Okay? <coughs> identify the main ideas from that. Look through and identify the main ideas. Find out main ideas from Is it clear for you? Yes. Here is the uh, You can find some information about organizing English lesson, yeah? And you should try to take just keywords, okay? Keywords. Write down keywords. Because in the next task, you will need Keywords in order to our next task. <coughs> now, you should be the information first, after, as your next writing. You will use the this one. That's why you should take just many ideas, keywords, using these ideas, these phrases, or sentences. You should give information about the text, okay? This way, try to find keywords.
I will give you one minute, okay? And I hope that it will be enough for you to identify the Z and the information from the text. Because you have only 30 seconds. Now, Thank 
seconds. Ten seconds. Time is out. So you should just one time, yeah? Okay, come here. Thanks. Thanks. 
Okay, next uh, we work in three stations. Yeah? Yes. Our next station is a speed station. In this station, you should discuss with your group all the information which you got from our lesson. Okay? okay. You just uh, discuss and after at the next station, you should give me what do you get from our today's okay. lesson. Okay? Then, uh, I think uh, one minute will be enough, yeah? Yes. Because uh, you have, uh, we discussed all the uh, words uh, and you will just refresh your mind and make notes about all information we have got from the lesson. We discussed the school today and uh, what do we say about the lesson? Then you will think about how to this lesson. Yeah? Yeah, your opinion. Yeah. You should give your opinion about our today's lesson. I'll give you one minute and our assessment excerpts. Don't forget because we should explain why you put good marks. For what? For opinion. For today's lesson, we got I information. I you. The train is coming and we are going to the next station. It will be teacher's station. At the teacher's station, you Set microphone, you should share the ideas you have got from our today's lesson. Okay, girls, stop writing. Stop. And now you will share with the information you have got from our today's lesson. Uh, you know, uh, uh, do you know how to use the message microphone? Microphone, yeah? Yes. Each student will take. And uh, share the information. Okay, who will begin? Uh, okay, begin. There was a uh, 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 How can we organize? Okay. What else? Can you add? Um, um, I, I knew this lesson. Uh, this new lesson. I, I, you knew. I know. I know. Uh, I know this lesson. Uh, how to organize English lesson? I learned. No, I learned. I learned how to organize how to English, English lesson. Okay. Today I learned, I learned the how to organize our English lesson and how to write perfect uh, lesson plans. Yes. yes, greeting, warm up activities, feedback, and uh, uh, different. Yeah. Here now I will give you exit tickets. This is a ticket in order to finish our lesson. How can you? Do you understand what kind of ticket yes. is it? Yes. In this ticket, you should write three things you have learned from the lesson, two things you found very interesting, and one question what you couldn't understand. Three new things for you, two interesting things, and one question. One thing, one thing, what you couldn't understand from today's lesson. You will try to write your opinion, okay? Like what do you learn from your lesson? 
what do it what was interesting and what you couldn't understand. What about the lesson wasn't I'm clear for you. short and long term plan okay. and the greeting and warm up things I found interesting message spider and umbrella uh, questions okay. no questions you have no questions about the lesson yeah? mm -hmm. yes it was clear yes. uh, things I learned today and how to how to make short term plan uh, how to make short term plan and how to assist students okay um, mm -hmm. and Things I found uh, I found interesting is message uh, umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella. Is that okay? That's all. Okay. Others, collect me your papers. I will read. And we'll try to pay attention to the weak points of our lesson at the next session. Okay. Okay. For you. And now uh, in each group we have a assessment experts. You should. Uh -huh. Assess your group mates. Begin. Dinara, uh, you must adjust the group too. Dinara, are you ready? Yes. Begin. That you had in your group, you had how many students? Uh, five, five students. students. Okay. Group. Uh, I. Delara was active. Uh, she was active. Yes. Uh, and, and, and she had that too mm -hmm. uh, active. She, she was active. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Diana uh, and was a bit active. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, was, wasn't active. She wasn't. She was a bit active. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good for And one wow. points. How many points did? Did I get uh, seven points? Clara, mm -hmm. uh, six points. Charlotte, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Diana, four points. Mahira, uh, three points. <coughs> and you? And were you active? <laughs> five points. Five points. One. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have six. Uh, six. 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 And Magdula, uh, uh, very active. She was very she active. Very active. Yeah. And uh, uh, she, but uh, she got uh, six, six, seven points. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, no, uh, thirty-seven. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm sorry. And Maktuna, uh, seventeen points. Uh, Nazi, seventy-two points. And uh, I am uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five points. Yeah. And Rosa, twenty-seven. And Shasana, seventy points. For each task, you you give uh, the maximum point was five. Points. Five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks uh, for your participating, and I hope that from our today's lesson, you got something interesting for yourself. And your home task will be to make a English lesson plan. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Thanks. 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 Thanks.